Namaste. Welcome to Crime Spotlight 360. On September 27, in Sunday, Uttar Pradesh, a teacher has been accused of getting a Hindu student beaten by a Muslim classmate. The Hindu student's father alleged that a teacher named Shiusta ordered a Muslim student to beat their son. He said that the teacher got their son beaten saying that he was a Hindu. The Hindu student is a resident of Sairoli village and his father works as a security guard. The Hindu student's father said that his son had gone to school on September 26 and he could not answer some questions. The student's father alleged that Shiusta got his son beaten by a Muslim classmate. On the instructions of the teacher, the Muslim student slapped the victim several times on his cheeks. The father has said that his child was not going to school due to fear and embarrassment. The child narrated the entire incident after his father inquired what had happened. A video is going viral on social media showing the Hindu student saying, I could not answer a question in class. The Hindu student's father on September 27th complained to the school administration and the police. According to a report by Times of India, the father in his complaint has alleged that the incident also had a religious angle. ASP Shri's chamber said that the police have taken action against the accused teacher in the case. The allegations of the child's father are quite serious. However, the family of the student who was beaten and the teacher denied any communal angle to the incident which was amplified as such by the left Islamist ecosystem on social media. On September 26 morning, West Bengal police on Friday said a man has been arrested in alleged connection with the killing of a woman whose body, with throat slit and face burnt beyond recognition, was found in North 24 Pragana Swarupnagar near the international border three days ago. The accused was held on Thursday night in Bikari village. At a press conference, Basirhat Police District SP, Joby Thomas SK, said that based on a preliminary probe, the victim was identified as a Bangladeshi named Somaya Akhtar Briyadi, a resident of Shyampur locality of Dhaka. She used to work at a beauty parlor in Mumbai. The woman's body, with hands and legs tied, was found by locals in an uninhabited place in the Swarupnagar area, nearly a kilometer from the international border. On September 29, 2023, an incident of stone pelting and arson occurred during a Shorya Yatra organized by Hindu organizations in the Salamba area of Gujarat S. Nirmada district. As the Yatra procession was passing through, a group of individuals from the Muslim community reportedly rushed in and began hurling stones. While the Yatra was in progress through Salamba, an episode transpired where stones were thrown at the procession in an area predominantly inhabited by Muslims. Video footage of the incident has emerged capturing the sight of a mob of Muslims pelting stones at the Shorya Yatra. As soon as the Shorya Yatra came under attack, police teams rapidly arrived at the scene to take control of the situation. In response to the stone pelting, tear gas shells were reportedly used by police. This is the second incident of stone pelting on a Hindu procession in Gujarat within a fortnight. On September 15, on the last day of the auspicious month of Shravan, a Lord Shiva procession came under brutal attack in the Thasra area in the Keda district in Gujarat. Stones were pelted from a madarsa when the Hindu devotees were taking out the procession from the area.
मेरे साथ क्लास में मैंने एक चीज नहीं सुनाई थी तो मैम तो मैम ने मेरे पीछे वाले बच्चे को उठाकर कहा कि इस पे थप्पड़ मारो तो उसने मेरे दोनों गाल पर एक एक थप्पड़ मारा कौन था पीने वाला बच्चा आदि बुकनाला का रहने वाला है किस वजह से मारा क्योंकि मैंने मैम ने जो मुझसे कहा था वो मुझे आता नहीं था तो मैम ने उससे मुझे थप्पड़ लगा मोहम्मद मोहम्मद अजीज का पूरा नाम है आप क्या चाहते हैं पापा आपके गए खाने में अब अब जो पापा की मर्जी होगी मैं तो इसमें कुछ नहीं If you like the contents, please like and subscribe the channel. Also hit the bell icon.